and gentlemen, Speaker of the Senate, Kal Mihar Kantav, on Wednesday apologized to the nation for the unfortunate event of May 14 during the session on Prime Minister's policy statement. Parliamentarians have been fighting fiercely on occasion, says Senator Kantav, who promised to avoid the scenario. Further, the elected of the Artibonite indicated to that no date was fixed for the resumption of the aborted session of May 14. He announced that he would enter into consultation with the President of the Republic and the group of senators of the opposition in order to clear the litigation and facilitate the holding of the session in serenity. The citizen of the Capitol criticized the attitude of most senators at the May 14th meeting. Such behavior only further fade the images of the parliamentary institution. For these port au and the authority of the country do not have the will to find a way out of the crisis. The citizens have moreover expressed their bitterness in the face of the vertiginous fall of the gourd against the US dollar. The depreciation of the national currency only served to accentuate the social economic crisis, they said, adding that the exchange rate currently stands at 90 gores against a U.S. dollar. The funeral of the primate's employee, Richie Kayo, who died last May 6 from his gunshot wound at Kofu, was sung Wednesday at the Bible Auditorium in the Sean Mars. Relative friends and colleagues of the deceased pay him a last tribute. In his eulogy, the principal celebrant, Vanne Luisin, protested against the lack of concrete measure to fight against insecurity. He deplored the fact that human life is trivialized by the armed gang that continue to mourn the population. I should remind you that this death happened when the armed bandit attacked a Richie Kayo car at Kofu in the south of the capital. Injured, he had given up after surveying several hospitals in the capital, including Bernard Merv and Canapé Vert, who refused to take to charge. Thousands of citizens, especially from the business sector, walked on Wednesday in Gonaïve to denounce growing insecurity in the department of Artibonite. They particularly denounced the fact that three businessmen were murdered in the city of Independence in the space of three months. As announced uh, the title in the title, the newspaper Le National, belonging to Techno Group, with Radio Télé Pacifique under the leadership of the CEO Hervé Le Rouge, blew Wednesday his fourth candle, the opportunity of officials and journalists to salute the effort made to establish themselves in the Haitian media landscape. The National is at its 861 issue. Welcome officials who took the opportunity to present their thanks to the readers for their loyalty. At first, the journal, the journal was printed and distributed to the Haitian public and its diaspora subscribers. For more than a year, the national is only distributed online pending the finalization of the premises to house the printing of Techno Group and its officials. The Mostly Youth newspaper team has renewed his determination to strengthen its presence in the Haitian community, which is calling for a profound change in the country's social, political, and economic reality. Abroad, the military council that has been in power in Khartoum since the removal of President Omar al-Bashir wanted a transition period of two years. The protester from four years, finally it will be three years. The representative of the military council, General Atla, said that the first six months of his transitional period will be devoted to concluding peace agreement with rebel movement in the western and southern Sudan. At a joint press conference, Madani Abbas Madani, a representative of the Alliance for Freedom and Change, the spearhead of the protest movement, confirmed the deal. Continuing abroad, Notre Dame de Paris dresses her rune one month, day after day, 
the devastating fire, the time is always to consolidate the building, which has been weakened by fire in a large quantity of water discharged by firefighters. A temporary tarpaulin was placed above the vault with holes to prevent the rain from entering and further damaging the capital. A month later, the causes of the fire are still unknown. The accidental track remained privileged by the investigator who advanced three hypotheses. The first point to the behavior of the worker. The second hypothesis point to be a possible short course circus of the elevator installed for the work. Finally, the third hypothesis refer to the bell in the roof, which has been electrified several years ago. I thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this special edition of Info Pacific. I will see you tomorrow night. Thank you.